Well, you guys, today we're taking a look at some free malware removal tools that actually remove viruses. Now, Windows 11 is considered significantly more secure than Windows 7 due to its modern security features built around hardware-based protection, including trusting platform module, TPM 2.0, secure boot, enhanced threat detection with AI integration, and it also focuses on a secure by default design. So this makes it much harder for attackers and exploits to uh, exploit Windows 11 compared to, say, Windows 7. So first up, we're going to take a look at Malwarebytes. Now, Malwarebytes claims to stop what you never heard of and catches what others miss. Malwarebytes' free version uh, of the Malwarebytes antivirus software scans and removes malicious software from your device. It has features like scan and remove viruses, malware, adware, spyware, and also ransomware. The software supports Windows, Mac, Android, and iOS. Uh, the limitations of the free version lacks the real-time protection, so bear that in mind. So it's not suitable for your main antivirus program. But Malwarebytes Free is best used as a second opinion scanner to run alongside your other antivirus program. But you can see during the installation process here, one thing I don't like about this is when you're installing this as a free version, it automatically puts on a 14-day trial for their premium sort of antivirus program, and you have to disable that yourself if you want to use it as a second opinion sort of scanner, which is what I think this is best for, in my personal opinion. But the option is there for a full antivirus suite rather than using your, say, built-in Windows Defender antivirus. As you can see right here, we've now installed uh, the Malwarebytes on this system. I'm going to skip this part here, and we're going to just quickly skip this part right here as well. And we'll just say maybe later. And it just says continue with your free trial here. And that means this is going to replace Windows Defender on this system as it is right now. It's going to disable Windows Defender and leave this as your main antivirus program with a 14-day trial. So let's go ahead and do that. And I'll quickly say, got it. And this is basically it here. It says right here, trial expires in 14 days and you'll have to pay for it. But if you want to disable the actual full antivirus program and just use this as a free on-demand scanner or a second opinion scanner then you can do you need to go up to the account here click on my subscription and deactivate trial and say yes here and this will then become the free version now remember when you do this automatically you can now see windows defender is turned back on and basically now this is not going to be scanning files as they come down off the internet this is now being used as a secondary opinion scanner this is not going to be protecting your system uh, on its own running in the background and checking files as they come down on checking websites basically the, how this works as a secondary opinion scanner is your windows defender is protecting your system and you would run scans with this once a week or once a month to make sure you've got no adware no malware or any spyware and stuff like that on the system. But if you want to use this as a main antivirus suite on your computer, you will need to pay for it. So it's not a free version as an antivirus program. It's only free as a second opinion sort of scanner. So that's option number one. It's a great way of detecting and removing malware, adware and spyware and stuff off your computer. Next from the same company is called ADW Cleaner. Now, this was owned by someone else and they bought it out because it was a very good tool back in the day for removing, you know, junkware, adware and other nasty stuff like rogues uh, back in the day. And Malwarebytes have taken this over and it is a free tool to download and use on your system. And I would definitely uh, use something like this on your computer on a regular basis. So what ADW Clean is going to do is remove adware and unwanted programs. Uh, if your computer's running slow or you've got strange messages like pop-ups or your browser homepage has been changed without your permission or you're getting redirects to other places on the internet which you never typed in, then ADW Clean is going to remove all of that. It can also reset a lot of your permissions and stuff like that, like reset your proxy settings, reset Chrome policies, 
uh, reset your WinStock and reset the host file. And a lot of malware and adware will change a lot of this stuff to make their uh, actual infection work on your computer properly. Whereas ADW Cleaner will remove a lot of this for you. It is a free tool, but it's not going to protect you in real time as in as you're using the computer. This is another on-demand scanner where you'll run this yourself. And I would say that adware is probably one of the biggest problems for Windows 11 today, and it still affects Windows 11, whereas a lot of other nasty malware doesn't really affect Windows 11 as much. Next up, we're taking a look at number three, which is the MCSoft Emergency Kit. This is another free download that you can use. Now, MCSoft Emergency Kit is a portable free malware scanner and removal tool that can be used to clean a computer without installing anything. It's designed for individual technicians, PC repair companies and stuff like that to remove all sorts of nasties on the computer. It's ideal for flash drives to keep them on flash drives and run them from there and you can scan for malicious programs and malware and junkware and adware, spyware and all that sort of nasty stuff. It's another on-demand scanner. It's not going to be running in the background, protecting your PC in real time. It's what we class as a second opinion scanner. So you have your main antivirus program protecting your PC. And if you feel that it's let you down or malware has compromised that, and you've got an infection on the system, whether it be adware or malware or some form of spyware or something like that, you can run tools like these that like I'm mentioning to basically remove them from the computer. Potentially unwanted programs like PUPS is another common problem that is still very common today, especially in Windows 11. Next up, we're looking at ESET's online scanner. This is another on-demand scanning tool that you can run on your system to try and weed out and find uh, malware that has been left on the system. Again, this is going to be finding all your usual suspects, your uh, malware, your adware, your spyware, your viruses and stuff like that, and it can remove them from the computer. Now, I would say enable feedback uh, system recommended. The reason why I say that is because you definitely want to be sending stuff back to this company because this is what makes this tool so great. Yes, I want to send anonymous data back as well. This is allowing them to find the malware samples and then and using that sample to protect you and others in the future. This is what will make this uh, program even better. You can see detect and quarantine potentially unwanted programs, which we call PUPS. And again, you would run this on the system. It's going to take a while. And again, when you're scanning for nasty stuff on your computer, you want to use multiple different types of uh, software to try and find a lot of this nasty stuff now my advice is if you have got a heavily infected system i would back up your data and do a fresh install of windows that way you can be 100 percent safe that all of this stuff has been removed again if you've only got a few things on your computer you can run this and making sure that a lot of it's all been completely removed another one to use is hitman pro and this has been around a very long time. It's owned by Sophos now. And uh, again, you can use this. It's a 30-day trial, but it doesn't necessarily mean you can't use it in that 30 days to find and remove nasty stuff on your PC, like malware, viruses, trojans, worms, keyloggers, rootkits, and trackers, and other nasty stuff that can be on your system hiding. And uh, basically, once you get this on the system, it can, you know keylog all your strokes on your keyboard and it can be quite dangerous to have so it's important that you run scans with this particular software and other software to make sure your system is clean now windows is one of the most popular used operating systems out there and the problem with it is there's billions of people using windows operating systems and that means it's the bigger piece of pie compared to say linux and that means the cyber criminals are going to go after the bigger piece of pie rather than the small uh, operating system users like, say, Linux. And that's what they do. So this is the reason why Windows is attacked so much, because it's being used by so many uh, different people in the world and companies. It's an industry standard operating system. A lot of businesses use it. And also every computer you go and buy from, say, PC World and other shops will have Windows on them. And this is why they've monopolized the market so much. 
But again, running something like Hitman Pro is going to obviously find a lot of stuff on the system and remove it. Now, next up, before you start shouting in the comments section, Norton Power Eraser is a free tool you can use. It's not an actual antivirus program as such. It's a tool that you can use that scans for threats and removes malware on the system. And it uses aggressive scanning technology to detect threats that some traditional uh, virus scanners might miss. It also uses the high intensity detection, which is your HID for short, and scans which employs machine learning, AML for short, and techniques to determine if a file is malicious or not. So the MPE also matches applications on the user's computer with a list of trusted and malicious applications which it can detect. The MPE can also detect threats like viruses, spyware and potentially unwanted programs. And also the MPE is compatible with Microsoft Windows 7 SP1 and above. So any newer operating systems out there, it doesn't work with Mac OS unfortunately, and also doesn't work with Android devices or iOS devices. And pretty much it is a pretty decent bit of kit for running on a system very quickly and determine whether that system has got any sort of nasty stuff. Now, we all know that uh, sometimes malware can stop programs from running and it may be difficult to remove that malware. And this is where, uh, you know, Kaspersky Rescue Disk comes in. You can boot to this uh, USB drive. You can create a USB drive. It comes down as an ISO and you can use the graphic mode and boot up to this and use it as like a pre-installed environment and run scans to disinfect your PC. And this is a really good way of removing a lot of the bulk nasty infections on that system before you even boot the PC up. And this is a real tried and trusted method to try and get rid of some of the more nasty stuff that is stopping the PC from working properly, i.e. it might be uh, redirecting your browser or it might be uh, you know stopping uh, the actual antivirus programs from running on the system booting up to something like this is going to remove a lot of that stuff first and you can also go in if you know what you're doing and use the navigation area in here to surf the computer itself and remove a lot of the malware from that location manually especially in app data and places like that where it all resides you can remove a lot of it yourself manually if you know what you're doing now there's also some programs like kill em all and uh r kill that are useful for stopping applications uh, on the system that might be running so you can run scans that's another great way of doing that but this method is really simple and easy you just boot up to it and run a scan and it will remove a lot of the bulk stuff on there and like i said you can navigate onto that infected computer as well back up some data from there if you wanted to and pull it off and then reformat the system if that's what you wanted to do. It allows you, without booting up to the PC itself, sometimes backing up data from an infected computer is going to be difficult. Now, we're talking about uh, infected, heavily infected computers, whereas this is not so much of a case for Windows 11 nowadays in 2025, whereas back in the day, it was a major problem for, say, Windows uh, XP and Windows 7 and Windows uh, Vista. These were the really bad operating systems for getting heavily infected. Anyway, I think that is going to be about it for this one. If you want to see more of these, let me know in the comments section down below. If you want to see a video on some useful tools that you can use as well, rather than scanning software, tools like, say, auto runs and things like that, let me know down in the comments and I'll make a video on that for you. I've been making some short videos. I know a lot of you guys don't watch shorts, but I do make those ones for videos that I won't put on as a full video but they're quick enough to make as a quick tips video just for helping people with certain topics anyway with that said my name has been brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk catch you in the next one bye for now